What size are your boobs? I don't know, because every bra is different. <laughs> I just, whenever somebody asks, I'm like, about a handful. About a man and a half handful. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't work. If only you had a man and a half. <laughs> oh, I have a man and three fourths, baby. <laughs> All right, so I just, like, I'm pulling this up right now. It's 30 questions. We don't know what they are. We're going to answer them and see what happens. Who is the oldest and the youngest? Oldest. Oldest. Youngest. youngest. What was the last text you sent to each other? I don't know. I don't before. know. Now, see, it's different because we also message each other on Facebook a lot. Yeah. Oh, I texted you the address of where I work because she visited me earlier. Yeah. What do you like and hate about your siblings? <laughs> you want to go first? Um, I'll start off with what I hate. Mm -hmm. Is that you never listen to the advice that you ask for. Like, yeah. you never do. Yeah. And it always turns to shit. And if you had listened <laughs> to what I said, it would have gone okay. That's true. Since I was like 10. She's been, like, my mentor. Not my mentor, but my, like, therapist and life Guru. coach. Guru. <laughs> but what I love is that even though, like, even though sometimes, like, you completely piss me off, we still make up and it's like it never even happened. Yeah. So that's what you like? Yeah. Okay, so what I hate about you... <laughs> is you literally get everything handed to you. I'm the one that has to work hard and put in effort, and she just, like, is there, and then gets, like, three times more than I do. And I'm like, <laughs> what I like about you, no matter what you're faced with, you make it work somehow. Yeah. Aww. Uh, what do you and your siblings have in common? Well, I can tell you from today, her meeting all my coworkers, or almost all my coworkers, everybody says we look identical. I think we look somewhat alike, but not identical. Like, I was told, like, you could be twins. I'm like, no, I don't see it. Like, we're brunette, we have glasses and big boobs. I mean, everybody yeah. thinks we're going to look alike. Yeah. It's like with the racist comment that, like, all black people look alike. No, they don't. Yeah. You're just racist. She, ha she has a pointier nose than I do. Mine's more rounded. Mine turns um, up a little bit. Yeah, her teeth are a lot different than mine. She yeah. has more of a gap. And my top lip is a lot thinner than hers. Yeah. And then your chin has the, the cleft in it, yeah. and mine doesn't. And my yeah. face has always been more rounded than yours. Yeah. Like, your your cheekbones are more pronounced, so it looks like your face is, like, more pointed. Mine's always yeah. been rounder. Yeah, and you've always had really straight hair, and I've had curly and wavy. Yeah. So I don't, I don't see it. I think that's pretty much that, and I think now that I've been able to escape religion, I think we have a more common Yeah, bit. yeah. Yeah. Um, what's your funniest memory? Oh, God. <laughs> My funniest memory, <laughs> and the most embarrassing... <laughs> is when I was having my sweet 16 luau, my oh friend God. Ben at the time, I come over, and I was, it was already a hot mess, because there was like a lot of drama, and you know, crazy she stuff. She literally without. ran away. I did. Minutes before her party started. I did, because like, the drama was so much, like my dad and my grandma were like, the entire day, and I was like, this is my party, and I'm gonna cry if I want to, and y'all are gonna seriously make me cry. So, my friend Ben gets there, he consoles me, his his present was like the best gift I ever got. It was this cute little homeless beach bum doll. I don't know why that was so great, but it was. Because it was from Ben. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of like, he didn't want to admit that he was flirting with me and hitting on me, yet he was with me like almost every single day. Yeah. But, uh, so we were talking. I always kept my spot of the room totally clean. Her, on the other hand, it was like freaking tornado central. And I was frustrated with the drama. I was frustrated because the room wasn't clean because I'm a neat freak like that. And my friend Ben, my crush Ben, comes over into my room to console me. Just console. There was no hanky-panky. <laughs> and I was like, and you see this? It's my birthday and she has dirty underwear laying on the floor. <laughs> 
And that was a frequent thing. <laughs> also, real quick, another funny one. She had promised my mom that she would give her a foot rub, and she never did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so, like, it was late at night, and my mom came in the room. We were going to, like, hang out and stuff. She's like, don't tell your sister. This just me and you. Because, you know, I was older, but we shared a room for, like, until I was 17. Yeah, years. Yeah. And so my mom is, like, laying on her bed because she's just, like, No, gone. she was on your bed because I remember reaching over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But our beds were, like, side by side, our twin beds. So we just had, like, a little dresser in between. So there wasn't much space. There was, like, two, two and a half feet between our beds. If that. And so my mom had her feet, like, hanging off towards my sister's bed. Yeah. And she literally wakes up and starts rubbing my mom's feet. But she's, like, sleepwalking. Yeah. And we I were did just, it while I was asleep. I didn't we, even remember We were it. cackling because it was just so funny. And then my mom was like, Tiffany, why don't you lay down and go back to sleep? She's like, okay. And then she lays down. And then a few minutes later, we hear this. And we we're like, what is that? And she's like. And my mom was like, Tiffany, what are you doing? And she's like, chewing gum. <laughs> and then she started snoring. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> Mind you, I... I didn't have any gum in my mouth. Yeah, she I was did. just dreaming that I was chewing gum. <laughs> What's your funniest memory? Um, one of them would have to be like when me, you, and Destiny dressed up in the the lingerie and was like yes. strutting around the house yes. and on the back porch. And then Mamaw put the underwear on her head. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> we gotta try and find those pictures. I know I have the They're us and lingerie. Facebook. I don't know where Memo's picture is. Most memorable argument. We kind of had a lot of like really stupid ones. Yeah. I just think it's when our temper flares up. We're just like, bitch, hey, shut up. Yeah. That's when I'm like, I'm done, and I hang up the phone, and she then did I don't that call to her other for me. like a week. She did that to me the other night. I was in the middle of a crisis, and I literally hung up the phone, and I said some things I shouldn't have, but I was. <laughs> Uh, what do you and your siblings do for fun? Well, we never see each other, so when we do, we have Slapfest videos. And oh no, my battery. Okay. Uh, real quick. Describe each other in three words. Um, funny, weird, sarcastic. Pain, cool, and sarcastic. <laughs> um, have you ever liked one of their friends? No. Yes. What is something weird that you eat? I don't eat anything weird. Um, I eat a lot of weird stuff, probably either like edible bugs or something that's more mainstream, but still weird, um, tomato and mayonnaise sandwiches. What does your sister think about the most? You probably think about books the most. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking <laughs> of. You probably having a baby. I always think of sex, so close enough.